Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? This is Joe Barnes, and I am here in the dashboard of our tabs. And I've started this video, and I haven't quit Skype or email, so let me just do that. Um, so I'm here within the tab dashboard of um, your tabs that we're going to add to Facebook. Um, and as you can see, what, this dashboard now is going to show what your tabs actually look like. Okay, so if you've actually got nothing in a tab, then it's just going to come up with a blank screen. Um, but if you've actually created a tab, then it's going to show you exactly what your tab looks like, which I think is really um, is a great improvement because it now means that we can actually see all of our tabs, which is great. So as you come as you first logged in here for the first time ever you were probably asked to connect with Facebook. So you need to ensure that you've connected the app with your personal Facebook account that you have created your fan pages under. Okay? So for instance if I go over here to Joe Barnes and go across to Joe Barnes um, then you can see if I click on this link here then I've got all these different pages that I have obviously created this page uh, created underneath um, Joe Barnes. OK, so I have connected, uh, obviously, the tabs with Facebook. And the first thing we want to do, you can go here, you can actually click here to learn how to set up your tabs all the way through the um, the dashboard and the tab editor and everything are, is training videos for every single thing in here, for the widgets, for the templates, for the competition app, for everything. There's training videos, you know, all through the site. So if you actually click here, it's going to pop up a video in the middle of the screen. Um, let me show you. If I just click there, ba-boom, and that's actually going to show you how to set up your tabs okay so what you actually do is you you create you select a page okay so I'm selecting Joe's test page for the social network Academy and then you go and grab a tab now at the moment there's 30 tabs um, it is unlimited so we've created 30 because obviously this is 30 tabs per page if you do want more then we can create more <laughs> so if anybody wants more than 30 tabs per Facebook page they've got then do please come and let us know and we can add more tabs in. Um, but, but I think 30 is probably enough for now. So I'm going to go, and because I'll be using these bottom four here for test tabs right now, I'm going to go and add tab 28. And then what you can do is you can actually give it a name. So I'll call it test tab 28. Now when you actually give it a name here, it has no bearing on what it's called on Facebook. Yeah, so if I go over to the Social Network and Academy page and just show you what I mean, it's this name here. Yeah. You can change the name of your tabs on Facebook. So I've got training videos and master Facebook, etc. Um, so when you put this name in here, it doesn't hold any bearing on that name. OK, it will just simply show up as tab 28 on your Facebook page. But you can change the name when we get inside the tab editor. So I've clicked add tab. OK, and there is my test tab 28. So there's no image available at the moment because I haven't created anything. So what we now do is click on test tab 28 in order to go in and begin to edit it. So here we are and we've essentially got three options. We can build a page completely from scratch using the blank canvas. We can build a page using one of our ready-made templates or we could actually iframe a page in using the iframe widget so if we already have a page set up off of um, on, on our own server um, then we can actually iframe that page in so I'm going to show you how to do that so I'm going to quickly run through how to do each okay so first of all I want to create a build a page from scratch okay so what do you need to do when you first come in here is you've got to open this slider because this is actually going to open up this canvas uh, for you to then obviously build your page upon so now what we're simply going to do is just uh, you can you could have already you could have designed a huge graphic that can go in here that's 810 pixels wide that's the, the width of a Facebook page so you could have designed a nice graphic to go in here 810 pixels wide um, and all you'd need to do is grab this image widget here pull it down and then add that graphic choose the file and pick it up off your desktop okay um, or you can just start to sort of build a page so if I just say grab um, the text widget and say um, welcome to our page I'm not going to do anything too pretty because I don't want to waste too much time I just kind of want to show you what can be achieved yeah uh, so I'm just going to change the size and ch maybe change the color 
Um, okay, so this is just a WYSIWYG editor. You can do anything in here. You can put in images in here. You can put in linkable images in here. You can change the source code if you want. Um, obviously, you can underline, bold, italic, all the normal things that you can do in, in a WYSIWYG editor. So we put the welcome to our page right, right in the middle there at the top. And that's the great thing about this. It's drag and drop. So you literally just drag the things wherever you want them to go. So you could have welcome to our page, for instance, um, and then maybe you want a YouTube video and a um, opt-in form. So let's just grab the YouTube video URL there. And now we're just going to go and put in a YouTube URL. OK, so we go over to YouTube, just tick any uh, video that you want to watch. So I've got one here on how to use the timeline editor. So I'm just going to grab that one and then uh, pause it because obviously you don't want to. And there's the URL look in the top address bar there. So I'm just going to copy that URL and I'm going to go back over here. And I'm just going to paste that URL in there and click add widget. OK, and now there's my, you are, my um, YouTube video. OK, so maybe I want that and then next to it, maybe I want an opt in form. Maybe this is actually kind of like a welcome video. And now I want to put in an opt in form here to say, hey, come and opt into my list. Um, so here's one I made earlier. Uh, I'm just going to go down here and grab it. There it is. OK, so there's my code. So I'm just going to get all of that. This has all come from the Aweber web form generator which is, if we go into Aweber, this one here, the publish number three. OK, so this is a pretty basic form that I have created here. OK, um, and then I've, I'm over here and I want to publish it. So I've clicked on raw HTML and I've grabbed that code. Now, remember, though, that when using the autoresponder widget, this is what we're going to pull down now, you can actually use any autoresponder code that you want to. So if you're using get response or eye contact or um, MailChimp or anything else, as long as the web form is created using basic HTML, then you'll be able to use it here. If it's created using JavaScript, then you're going to have problems. But if it's just basic HTML, then you, it's going to be absolutely fine. So I want to um, copy all of that code there. And then I'm simply going to drag the autoresponder widget down. And I'm going to put my code into the autoresponder widget. And there's my opt in form. OK, now, obviously, when you build the opt in form, you may want to do, um, you know, some kind of, um, uh, you know, headline that says, you know, sign up for my sign up for our special free gift or whatever. Or you can actually just drag this down and say, um, enter your name and email address below to instantly uh, to get instant access to our free gift, something like that. OK, uh, so we'll just um, bold that and we'll use to Homer and we'll make that five and we'll make that um, what, what colour should we make that blue again, shall we? Yeah, so it kind of fits in with the rest of it. Um, and um, We'll kind of do that center like that and we'll do that and then we'll bring this over here and we'll line it up with the top of the YouTube video like that and then we'll do that. OK, so there is sort of your opt in form from scratch. Now, obviously, you want a little bit more details on here. What are they actually getting? All of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, put it in the video, but you might want to put a little bit of details down here as well about what they're going to get in the video and all that kind of stuff. But this is just a very basic example that I want to show you now. So what you do when you've created your page, you've got all these different widgets that you can add to your page. OK, and every single widget comes with a little training video. So if you're not sure um, what each widget does, then as you hover over it, you've got this little learn how to just click on that. OK, and a little video is going to pop up showing you exactly how to use it. So you can add uh, HTML code. You can add Facebook buttons, share, um, like, recommend. You can add a Twitter feed. You can add Google Maps. You can add an RSS feed. You can embed video. So if you've actually created your videos in Vimeo or Vidla or Easy Video Player or somewhere else and they've got an embed code, you can embed. You can add Facebook comments to this. Um, 
you can add Skype, you can add Twitter follow buttons and share buttons, LinkedIn follow buttons and share buttons, hotspot clickable areas on your page, you could add your Picasso account with your albums, you could add a slide share tab and you can add shapes so you can you know add boxes and circles and kind of design your page on here. It's very lots and lots of widgets and we're even adding more. Coming up soon is a new e-commerce widget so you can add shopping carts and all of that kind of stuff um, and, and lots of other things that we've got planned. Okay, so but for now, this is just I just wanted to do a basic page to show you how it works. So there's our basic page, um, and uh, what we're going to do, let's just add Facebook comments onto that as well. So let's just grab the Facebook comments down here, and we want to put in www.facebook.com forward slash social networking academy, and we'll show say 20 comments. And we'll add that widget. Oops. Okay, and we'll just bring that down here. And oh, there's already some uh, Facebook comments on there. I must have used that URL before. And then we'll just drag that down all the way to the bottom. Okay. Okay, so we've just added Facebook comments down there as well if we want to. Okay, so now what I'm simply going to do is click on Update tab. Okay, so click Update tab. Now, um, by the time you watch this video, um, I think that Update tab may well say Save tab because that's essentially what its function is, to save it. So I have actually asked our guys just to change the, um, the title of that to Save tab. Um, so by the time you watch this video, that's probably what it will say. Um, so every time you come in and you actually update your tab and you do things, you need to save it. That's the function that you must always do because by saving the tabs, it actually saves it within the system, within the platform. Yep. And then when you go to the dashboard, you're going to be able to see the picture of that tab on your dashboard and you can go in and make any amends that you want at any time. It's actually saved on the system. Okay. So that tab is now saved on our system. Um, and what I now need to do is actually publish this tab onto our Facebook page. So what we do is we click on publish tab and that is going to open a new page here where it's going to say add this tab to the page that you selected when you first added the tab to your page yeah, from the dashboard. So we're going to click on add the social networking academy and it's going to open us up in the page that we have added the tab to. And we're going to come down here, we can click on our little up, bu up button down here and come all the way down to the bottom. And you can see there's tab 28. So if I actually click on tab 28 there, it's uh, hopefully any minute now going to bring up tab 28. So there is our page that we've just created. Okay, there's our YouTube video that's going to work beautifully. If I just click on that, then you're going to see that's going to work. Our connection here is a little slow, so it's just got to catch up, and then it will uh, it will play. And you can go and put your names and email details in here, and sign up. And of course, you can go in and add a comment in the comments section. There you go. Okay, so that's creating a very basic page. And you may be looking at this thinking, I don't want it to be called tab 28. So now you've got a couple of options. You can actually go back into Facebook and do it from Facebook, or you can actually do it from our templates. So let's say we actually wanted to call it, um, you know, free gift. Okay, then you can actually click here on change tab name. I can then go in and just type free gift and then update tab name. Okay, that's going to update and then if I go back into this page and refresh it, then you'll see that it's now called free gift. And if we go back into the test page and actually click down here, then you'll see it's now called free gift. Tab 28 is now called free gift. Okay, so let's leave the free gift tab 28 page open because what we're now going to do is we're going to head back over here into our tab editor and we're going to use one of the ready-made templates to, uh, to build a page. Okay, so we're back into our canvas here and what we're going to do is replace this now with one of our ready-made templates. So if we click on ready-made templates and that's going to bring up this page of different templates that we can use. So let's go and grab one of these templates. Let's grab this one down here for instance. 
and I'm not going to do anything to it for this video for the purposes of this video I just want to show you how it you know just basically how it works and what you can do now the great thing with these templates is that you can just use our drag and drop widgets exactly as if you were creating the page completely from um, scratch okay so for instance what we've done is we've suggested some things to you so the background design kind of remains the same but with this one you can go in and change stuff so you can change your logo you can change you know the wording here you can change this image and take this image out um, you know you can change all of this and put in here exactly what you want to put in but kind of just using our design to help you create a page okay now the biggest difference with these templates is the autoresponder section um, and basically you've got to choose you can use this very easily uh, with any autoresponder at all and replace this entire box here with your own autoresponder box okay so for instance I could click edit on here and I could go and grab that uh, code I had earlier and grab all of the code and put it in here okay make sure it's right in the top right hand corner there put it in there and click edit widget and then I could actually replace what's on there with this obviously once when I'm in Aweber I'd need to make it big enough that it would cover that entire box yeah or get response on MailChimp or whatever so you could actually design your own opt-in form and replace the design that we've um, put there for you and that's easier to do on some templates than others yeah it kind of depends really on the design so if I go up here to ready-made templates for instance you know with these ones it might be a little bit more difficult unless you kind of make make it fit in with the design um, some of them over here the emails at the top here so that's going to be a little bit more more challenging to do um, this one for instance it's really Im embedded in the design that it's kind of like this brown thing here but again you can be creative with the web forms in in your autoresponder and see if you can replace some of these um, you know with your autoresponder code if however you don't want to do that though and you want to retain the actual design that's there but you want to um, you know make the design that's actually there um, functionable on on Facebook then what you need to do and this currently only works with Aweber okay but we are updating the templates constantly to improve them and to add other autoresponders to be able to do this but what you need to do is um, go into that code okay and go down and find these input type lines here there's eight lines of input type and you go and you grab those okay go, go into your autoresponder click edit and replace all of the code that's in there or obviously you might be starting from blank with just your eight lines of autoresponder code and then edit and then what's going to happen is the design is going to remain intact but what's actually going to happen is that this um, autoresponder uh, form is going to work with your autoresponder you've put in the functionality of your web form behind the design by doing that okay and then all you're going to do is click save tab or update tab because what you don't need to do is republish the tab because you've already published it so all we're doing now is actually saving the tab and then we'll go into Facebook and refresh and it will show us the brand new tab so if I bring up the test page and simply refresh this page then hopefully drum roll fingers crossed it's gonna bring up our brand new tab that we've just created and there it is okay so obviously this will be, you know, you'll have in here the design that, that, you know, you've put in and the wording and the logo and everything. And then down here, you can put in your name and your email and click send. And that's going to work with your autoresponder. Okay. So that is the second way you can use the templates. So we've created a page from scratch. We've now created a page using our templates. And look, guys, you can completely put on here Twitter buttons if you wanted to. You could put on here Facebook buttons if you wanted to. You could put the comments at the bottom of this page as well. Um, you can put in different images. You just drag on and just use the drag and drop templates. You can add your own text. Um, you could put a video in here with YouTube. You know, it's entirely up to you what information you want to put on your page. Okay, so the third and final way that you can currently use these templates is to replace this with an iframed link of your own web page. So what I'm going to do is go back into ready-made templates, go down to the bottom and click use blank template. Okay, and that's going to return this canvas to white. So I've got a now a blank canvas. Now, 
Currently, um, if you use the iframe widget, please note you must have um, a SSL certificate on your website. If you build a page using our templates from scratch or you use one of our ready-made templates, then we have you completely covered when it comes to SSL. We are totally SSL covered. So everything you put on Facebook will all work absolutely fine and everybody will be able to see it no problem. However, if you're bringing in a page from an external source, then you need to ensure that you have got that source covered with an SSL certificate. If you don't, then people who are using Facebook and are using secure browsing, when they get to your page, what they'll see is a warning message to say that this page is not secure. Do they want to continue? OK, and that's going to put some people off. So unfortunately, if you're bringing in content from an external site, you do need to ensure that that site is covered with an SSL certificate and you can purchase SSL certificates from your hosting company. So if you just go back to the hosting company that your site is hosted on and tell them you want an SSL certificate, they're not hugely expensive and the hosting company should be able to uh, sell you one and attach it to your main domain okay and here's the good news if you've got like a main domain and then you've got subdirectory so in other words www.joebarnes.com and then I had www.joebarnes.com forward slash blog and joebarnes.com forward slash new site and joebarnes.com forward slash whatever everything that comes after the forward slash that is also included in that main SSL certificate that you purchase for the main site www.joebarnesonline.com yeah or whatever your site is called obviously so it's actually quite um, it's quite valuable and recommended especially if you're doing any sales or anything on your site as well it would be recommended anyway so here's what we do we simply grab the iframe and we put in the URL in here so I'm going to put in www.thesocialnetworkingacademy.com now at the moment you're going to click yes add scrolling I can't believe I'm going to have to do this video again in a couple of weeks um, because what we're actually adding to the templates but they're not here yet is dynamic resizing OK, so in other words, what's going to happen very soon is you're going to be able to put your web page on here and uh, the templates are going to dynamically resize it so it fits with Facebook. OK, so it just fits straight in. For now, if your site is bigger than 810 pixels wide, then people are going to need to scroll around a bit to actually see, um, you know, the full page once it's on Facebook. Uh, so I'm just going to click update tab there while I'm talking to you about this. Um, but as I said, what we're introducing is, is something called dynamic resizing. So when you load your web page, what will happen is our templates will automatically resize it so that when you go over to Facebook, it will be sized for 810 pixels wide and therefore people won't be able to scroll okay but um, that's uh, that's an update that's coming very soon okay so now we've just we, we've clicked save tab and now we can just go over to Facebook and actually refresh the page okay so there it is there's my page and uh, it's got scroll bars so you can scroll down and around and see the entire page but you know really my advice would be that if you're going to load a page up through an iframe for the time being just make sure that, that page is actually um, you know size for Facebook so 810 pixels wide and then as I said just like out for the updates from us for the uh, dynamic resizing very exciting so those are the main um, actions that you can take uh, to build yourself a landing page on Facebook and very separately what I'm going to show you is how to actually use the competition app and build uh, a fantastic competition or promotion on your page uh, using again all of the drag and drop widgets and all of the functionality that you're already very familiar with here. So there we go. Thank you very much for listening. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful to help you build your custom tabs. Um, I do hope you enjoy this tool. Uh, it's here to try and make your life easier. If you do have any issues whatsoever, either come across to the fan page and let us know or um, on the Facebook group if you're a member of the SNA and, uh, and obviously we'll help you out. Um, and uh, enjoy. Enjoy playing with our um, tab creator. All right, I'll speak to you very soon.